Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects 2021 tutorial. This one I'm going to show you how to color correct or basically just do color changes inside After Effects in seconds. We're going to go really quickly here and I'm going to show you how to do it real fast. So I've got some stock footage here from Pexels, from Pexels video, and I've got this cute little pupper dog doing puppy dog things. I'll just hit space bar and boom, you'll see a puppy being a puppy. Love it, right? Love to see it. To color correct this, I'm going to show you how to do sepia, and then I might show you a blue one while I got you, but let's use sepia as an example. Sepia, sepia is very commonly used to show things like memories in videos, like if you're remembering something from years ago, or if you're showing somebody when they were younger, you often use a, a color correction like a sepia tone. So you go to layer new. The first step after you've added in the footage is you want to create an adjustment layer just like that, okay? And this adjustment layer needs to be the full size of the video underneath it. So if it isn't, just go ahead and drag it out until it's right there at the end. Now, the next step is you want to go to Effect. We're going to go down to Color Correction. And we're going to drop down to something called Colorama. Yes. Now, when you apply it, you get some pretty way out there effects. And it looks cool if you're you know doing special effects. But it's not the color we're looking for. So what you want to do is you want to go into Colorama go to output cycle and then you're going to see some, something that says use preset palette. They have already gone ahead and made some pretty darn good looking colors um, right here. So I'm going to show you, I told you sepia, right? So let's look at sepia. So I'm going to go sepia one. With one click, we've got a sepia look. Now I'm going to go ahead and say that is a little bit too strong for my liking. So I would blend it with the original and by doing this, you're basically reducing the opacity of the effect, but you're at the same time, you're basically combining the effect with the original footage. So something like this might be along the color that you're looking for. You can also go ahead and adjust the colors here. If you double click on that, you can go in and change it through the color wheel, but I'm gonna leave that alone because I think they've done a pretty good job. Um, but again, sepia, let's try sepia too. That's a different sepia. Okay, that's a little bit of a lighter sepia. And boom, you got another one. So you got the original, and then this is full sepia effect. So you can just do that. And by doing that one thing, you can color correct a ton of footage in no time. It's just just like that. Uh, the other one that I really wanted to show you, though, while I got you is not Old Glory, <laughs> although that is a pretty nice looking color. Um, their blue stuff is really nice, too. Let's see where it is. Ramp blue. Okay, you can ramp blue. This is like a nighttime shot. And you literally get it, like I said, in seconds. So if you're color grading a scary movie, you wrote, you did a scary film, and you want to have that blue cast that's so popular in horror films, for example, it's literally that easy, guys. Just add Colorama, do what I did there, and you're on your way. That's all there is for this video tutorial. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.